demonstration, I'm going to show you how to unzip a file using Windows XP. The first step is to open Windows Explorer and navigate to where you have downloaded the zip file previously. Once you've located the zip file on your computer, just double click on the, the, the image uh, or the name of the zip file and it'll open another window. At this point you have two options. One is you can extract, click over here and extract all files or in this case uh, I have a folder here and I, if I want to see the remaining contents of the zip file I just double click on it and it will open more of the contents of that, of that zip file. So at any point you can click extract all files and it'll open up the extraction wizard. Click next and in the second screen you'll see um, you'll, you'll be given the option to determine where the uh, zip files will be extracted to. By default they're going to go to the same folder that you have the zip file in. If you want to change it, select Browse and then navigate to a folder that you want to create or store the images in, the, f the files. I'm, for this demonstration, I'm going to keep uh, the files in the same folder that we have the zip file in, so all I have to do is click Next. This brings me to the last screen of the Extraction Wizard. Um, you have the option here to show the extracted files and by default the box is checked and yes I do want to see the files that I've extracted to make sure I've done it correctly and so all I have to do is click finish and it'll show me the folder that I just extracted. So I can double click on it now and see that I've actually gotten the files that I had hoped to extract. Now I can use these files if I want to but if I'm going to, if I extracted the files for uh, use later on, all I have to do later is navigate back to the same screen, to the same location on my computer where I had the zip file. You can see when we started out that I only had one file folder in here and it was the zip file. And now below it, I have the second uh, the folder that came from the zip. So uh, a lot of people want to know, should I keep the zip file that I downloaded? The, the way it stands right now is the zip file is taking up 62 megabytes on my computer and so is the file that is contained inside the zip file. So I have two files occupying the same amount of space and I really only need one of them. But what I highly recommend is that you um, save the zip file to another location. That could be another drive on your computer or it could be an external drive if you happen to have one. And the third option is that you can burn the zip file to a CD. That way, all three of those ways uh, give you the option of having a backup in, in the event that something happens to your computer and you lose your, your primary files. Well, that pretty much wraps up this demonstration. You can see how in just a few steps uh, how easy it is to um, extract a zip file using Windows XP.